What is going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you're having a wonderful day and today's video we're going to taking a look at how you can install ios 26 style control center on your hyper os 2 device so as you can see i have my beautiful redmi note 9 pro right over here with hyper os 2 android 15 and i'm going to use this video as a reference on how to install modded system app so i'm going to install the app first and then showcase it to you guys so in order to proceed, you will need to root your device with magisk. So just take the tutorial made for your device on how to root it and install magisk, which is a systemless root app. Once you have done that, return back to this video and let's just continue. Once you have installed magisk, you will need lpost for that. Just go to settings, scroll down and enable zygisk. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, zygisk something. Just enable that reboot once so let's just do that reboot the device once the device has been booted just unlock it and go to magic go to modules install from storage and you will need to install this specific version of l post which is made for hyper os 2 if you just install a random one from google it won't install on the latest versions so hit ok just like that we have l post so reboot again yep. it's a bit tedious to just get it installed for the first time once the device has been booted back you will need hyper sealer which is again a l post module so let's just install it i must be having it right over here just install it as a normal app but in order to enable the hyper sealer we will need l post manager so for that just extract the l post zip somewhere maybe in the internal storage just extract it right away Go to the folder and install the manager apk hit install launch the app just go to modules and enable hyper sealer just like that Once the device has booted back up, just go to the Hyper Sealer app. It must work just fine now if you have any kind of crashes. Now from over here, go to System Framework, Package Manager Service, and just enable everything. Everything that you see here, just enable. This will allow us to install modded system apps and downgrade them if needed. Go back, go to Others, scroll down, enable Use Android Package Installer. So if you have MIO installer, just like any other Chinese ROM, it will not intervene. And that's how you set up your device for installing modded system apps. And now let's just get to the control center. So for that, you will be needing this awesome mod by Evo Mods, version 47, iOS 26 style. Just install it as normal APK. Update. Just like that. For the first time it will give a bit of a hiccup i think as you can see i can't bring it down and there you go complete ios 26 style control center and it looks quite fine to be honest if you just expand any of the tile you still have the older ui so the functionality isn't lost you just have an overlay of ios 26 like the alignment is ios style then again if you want to just customize it you can just directly do that again if the ui glitches somehow you can just quickly restart the whole system ui just like that and the control center should be working just fine as before if you enable any kind of toggle it will give you a notification right over there which is pretty nice and you might be thinking this is not completely like ios 26 style it still has a lot of blur so if your device does actually support advanced textures toggle in the display settings if you turn off the advanced textures it will lessen the blur by a lot which will allow you to get that glass like style from the ios 26 if you go to further toggles there is not much this is just a overlay and then after if you want to just complete the look like the bigger clock from iOS 26 as you can see looks quite nice you can just have it by going to customizations from over here customize lock screen scroll down and you should be having this theme right over here which is not accurate like you don't have the glass style effect but it's quite near then if you want the iOS style recent apps panel just like this they just open a few more apps to just get an idea. Again, my device might feel laggy because this Note 9 Pro is running a lot of blur, which is not meant to because I just have a 4GB RAM. If you want this, I will leave a link in the description in the article. 
to get this launcher. Once you install the launcher to your magic, just go to settings, scroll down to home screen, scroll down. You will have a lot of features regarding the launcher, which is nice. Just go down to arrange items in recents, select stack style. And I will recommend lowering down the blur to give it like a more iOS 26 glass style. And if you just check it out, it's really butter smooth. If you have any kind of issues, you can just restart the launcher right over here. Go back, it will give you a bit of lag. But even if you don't have animations, it should enable those for you. As you can see, I have the premium animations now unlocked, which the Note 9 Pro doesn't even get in custom ROMs because it's just heavy. And then if you just don't like this iOS 26 style custom control center, you have to just go to apps, enable show all apps from over here. Go to system UI. System UI plugin, uninstall updates. And you should have your older control center right back working just fine with all the functionality. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it on how you can get iOS 26 control center on your HyperOS device. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and subscribe down there for more videos regarding modern system apps. And see you guys in the next one.